Jesse Boardman, you have been found guilty in a court of law of the capital crimes of armed robbery, murder, and assault on an officer of the peace. For this, as stipulated by Honorable Judge Harlan Parker, you will be hanged by the neck until dead at 12 noon this day, 3rd of October, year of our Lord, 1867. Or about five minutes from now, Careful, Jesse, we don't want you falling and breaking your neck. Well, I knew this day would be coming, Jesse. It was only a matter of time. And they knew too. But I don't see a brother here now, do I? Do you have any final words, Jesse? You all know me. You know my family. They're going to be coming for you. Every last one of you. Don't worry, Jesse. If they do, oh, I've got plenty of rope for them. There we go. Now, Eli, you've gotten real good with those six shooters. Now we need to work on situations where you'll need a different weapon. Remember how good you were at this last time? Now, the lever action rifle has several advantages over your six shooter. You've gotten real good at that, son. I'll bring you out tomorrow. We can try some more practice, all right? Get your pistol. Let's go wash up for dinner. You know them, Paul? Yeah, I gotta talk to them. Why don't you go back in the house and don't come out till I tell you to, okay? All right, boy. I want you to take these rifles inside. Don't come out till I come get you. Got it? Yes, sir. Do you need this pistol? Yeah. Probably. Gone now. Afternoon, Jericho. Sheriff. Didn't see you at your brother's hanging. Why in the hell would I want to see that? My brother and me, we was close. I understand that, but... Even old Judge Parker knew that Jesse's time was up. You can toss it up any way you want. If you wasn't around, he'd still be here. How long was I supposed to let your brother run roughshod all over this town? Him and that band of cutthroats he called the Mask. You never seen my brother do anything. He bragged about it, Jericho. Yeah, well, Jesse was always a boastful type.
That's your boy back in the house, ain't it? You're lucky that bullet only grazed you. Removing it would require surgery, and the only doctor we have isn't sober long enough to bandage a cut. There now. It still hurts like hell. I'm sorry, Reverend. It's quite all right. A minister is very familiar with the term hell. We're lucky to have you. Of course, no man would come out here and preach to us. Well, then maybe I'm lucky too. And I do have something that may relieve the pain. Here. Just don't tell some of those church ladies. <laughs> I sure am glad you ain't one of them teetotalers. I believe that all the grain of the earth is sacred to the Lord. Now you must tell me what happened. You don't think they should have hanged Jesse, do you? Of course not. Everyone deserves a chance at redemption. That's kind of what I thought. We went out to talk to the sheriff. Him and his boy went crazy and started shooting. Luke fired back to defend himself. He killed Ethan, but the boy got him. Ethan's dead? Yes. Where's the boy? Still out there, I reckon. I need to borrow Walker and go get him. You rest here. I'll send a message to bring the wagon and get you home. You be careful out there. Jericho, I wasn't always a minister. Eli, Eli, it's okay, I'm here to help you. I had to bury my paw right here because I couldn't move him. You come on back to town and stay with me. You'll need some food and rest. I'll send some men out to get the bodies. We must come together as a community and love each other in the eyes of God as we were meant to be, as people who have been chosen by him, by the law of mercy and justice and righteousness. We are here, and let us now pray for their souls. A newly appointed deputy here in Monument, I'm here to arrest Eli Harrell for the murder of Luke Kendall. Charlie, when did you become a deputy? Judge swore me in this morning, trial this afternoon. We don't want no trouble in this nice church. This is man's law. It is not the work of God. But I will get the boy. Sophia, what are you doing here? Eli's my friend. Papa said I could come. All right, just stay by me. We're in the courtroom. Shut your damn bling gobs! This court. 
court will now hear the case against Elijah Harold, who is charged with murder and- That is a false accusation. Eli is a 13 year old boy. His father was shot in front Order of him. The car. He was defending his home. No more interruptions or I'll have you removed from the premises. Now bring in Elijah Harold. Who's prosecuting this case? I am. The court recognizes Jericho Boardman, a prominent businessman and an upstanding citizen in this community for a number of years. Mr. Boardman, you an eyewitness to this event? I was. Are there any other witnesses for the prosecution? I won, Your Honor. Are there any witnesses for the defense? Just the defendant, Your Honor. Just the boy. Mr. Boardman, would you please give an account of what you saw at the Herald residence yesterday? Me and a few of the boys, that includes Luke Kendall and Russell here. We rolled up to the Herald's place to get a count while my brother Jesse was hanged. This town has too many hangouts. And then? He's and Harold come up and started talking. Well, things got heated up, and Luke, you know, he always was a hothead. Ethan said something Luke didn't like, and Luke shot him. Well, Ethan was fixing to draw on him. Anyhow, right after Luke did that, there was a shot fired from inside the house. Well, a shot hit Luke in the chest, and down he went. Of course, we opened up on the house, not knowing how many guns was in there. We heard Eli here call out, then another shot from the house. This one hit me. At that point, we hightailed it out of there. Russell, would you say that that's the same way that you saw these events unfold? Yes, sir. Eli, why don't you tell me what happened yesterday? Go on, Eli. Tell him what really happened. These men shot and killed, killed my pa. All of these men shot your pa? No, sir, just one. Just the one Luke Kendall, the one that you killed? So why did you shoot Luke? On account he shot down my pa. Did Luke Kendall shoot at you? No, sir. Did you know Luke Kendall? No, sir. Eli, did Luke Kendall provoke you? What does that mean? Did Luke say anything that made you mad enough to want to kill him? I shot down my paw and I got plenty mad. I understand. What happened after that? I shot at the house. So what did you do? I shot him. All right. Well, Mr. Borman's still with us, so he's not so much a part of this case. So you, Eli, meant to shoot and kill Luke Kendall. Is that the man that shot down my paw? Yes, Eli. Then yes. Eli, when you fired your pistol in his direction, was it your intent to kill Luke Kendall? I, I... <sighs> Let me put that another way, Eli. Did you want to see Luke Kendall dead? Yes, sir. There'll be a short recess while I retire to my chambers and make a decision on this case. I'll be back in 20 minutes, and in the meantime, bar is open. That judge isn't being fair. You're right. Who's there? Jericho. Come on in, Jericho. Sit yourself down. So what do you think, Harlan? What I think is all those people in that courtroom out there want me to be lenient on this young man. Is that where you headed? Something tells me that's not the direction you want this to go in. Well, he killed one of my boys. These fellas look up to me, and I need this set right. 
You know, Ethan Harold was a sheriff in this town, and you know he pushed through that case on your brother, and he wasn't going to rest until your brother Jesse hanged. So have you made your decision on this case? Jericho, I made my decision when that young man looked me straight in my eyes and admitted that he wanted to see Luke Kendall dead. It became obvious to me that there's bad blood between him and you and yours. Now, at some point in time, maybe five years, maybe 10 years, he's gonna want revenge. I certainly would appreciate swift justice on this. I haven't learned much in all my days, but one thing I have learned is that bad blood doesn't go away. Elijah Harold, you have been found guilty of murder of Luke Kendall. You lashed us to bull. No. No! No! Order in the court. Now in regards to the sentencing in this case, now I understand that the crowd wants me to show mercy, but I'll remind you that I was appointed this position by President Andrew Johnson, and I was appointed to provide law and order. In this area, 13 is considered an adult. Lady Justice wears a blindfold. She does not know age, color, religion, etc. The concern is justice being served. As judge and justice of the peace, my aim is to preserve the peace now along with providing for justice and also to preserve peace in the future. Elijah Harold, you have been found guilty of the murder of Luke Kendall. You are hereby sentenced to hang by the neck until dead. That is an abomination of justice! You'll burn in hell. This order will be carried out tomorrow at noon. He's just a boy. Let's hang Jericho instead. That's all I got to say in this matter. The court is dismissed. All the Are they really gonna hang Eli? We shall do all in our power to prevent that. Where's his mama? Why can't she help him? She died three years ago during the cholera epidemic. That's when Eli's father became sheriff. What about the rest of his family? They're too far away to be of any assistance. We must appeal to the governor. I hope he'll help, Eli. I hope so, too. Hello, Reverend. Sophia, this is for Mr. Mason. Can you take it to him, please? Of course, Papa. Why does Mr. Jericho want to hurt Eli? When you get back, I will explain to you all about Eli. Just deliver the message to Mr. Mason, Sophia. What happened, Reverend? Judge Parker just sentenced Eli Harrell to hang. First the sheriff, now Eli? This town just don't have any justice anymore. I need to send a telegram to the governor immediately. I can send it, Reverend. But I have to tell you, this may not work out the way you want. The governor is a very busy man. And a message like this would have to go through many hands. If we had a week or two... The then... hanging is scheduled for tomorrow. Fortunately, I know Governor Davis. He has championed the rights of our Negro brothers and sisters, and I believe he will help us right this wrong. I'm ready. Please dictate. Dear Governor Davis, stop. Request immediate stay of execution for Elijah Harold. Stop. Thirteen-year-old boy accused of killing man who shot his father. Stop. Very suspicious circumstances. Stop. 
Only you can prevent grave miscarriage of justice. Stop. Sincerely, Reverend Fox. Transmitting now. Thanks for looking after Sophia. I have a lot to explain to her. Tell her not to give up. We're still fighting for Eli. Eli is not sentenced to hang until noon. We may still hear from the governor. I know my job, and I know what time it is. Hear ye, good people of Monument, Texas. Eli Harold, have him been duly convicted in a court of law for the crime of murder in the first degree, is hereby sentenced to hang by the neck until dead this day, 7th of October, year of our Lord, 1867. May the Lord have mercy on his soul. Why are they doing this? Come on, you. Five minutes to noon. O'Reilly, get him ready. Watch your step, you know you. <laughs> Should have hanged Jericho instead. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesses him that gives and him that takes. Tis mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the throned monarch better than his crown. His scepter doth show the force of temporal power, the attributes of awe and majesty, wherein doth sit the dread and fear of kings. Hallelujah. But mercy is above this sceptered sway. It becomes the Enough crowned monarch better than his throne. It is an attribute of God himself. Look, Sophia's coming. Reverend? Yes, it will. Thank you, Sophia. Damn it. By executive order of Governor Edmund J. Davis, a permanent stay of execution for Elijah Harold has been granted. It's a stay of execution, not a pardon. Back to the courtroom for another hearing. Order of the court. Ladies and gentlemen, I represent the law in this area. We have received a decree from the governor of the state of Texas. Monument is within the boundaries of the great state of Texas. We must abide by his decree. Elijah Harold, the guilty verdict stands, but I've changed my mind as far as sentencing. You will not hang today. But believe me, where you are going, at some point in the future, you may wish you'd hang today. I hereby sentence you to 20 years in prison. That is 20 years in the Texas State Penitentiary without parole. May God have mercy on your soul. What's parole? That means he ain't never getting out. He's gonna rot in prison.
I had no choice, it was self-defense On my daddy's part I did defend My innocent Texas youth just ended then Cheat the hangman His soul is way too heavy Cheat the hangman The burdens that he carries Cheat the hangman He's just an ordinary bottle is closest friend They're hanging men and women for the wearing of the green. Good evening, sir. Mm -hmm. Do I know you? It's Eli, Michael. Eli, I've, I've known a few Elis. Eli. Eli. Eli Harold! When did you get in the tone? Just now. Got out of the penitentiary yesterday. What on earth made you come back here? Well, for one thing, I wanted to thank you for not hanging me 20 years ago. Hey, they say you cheated the hangman that day. Well, I'm the hangman, and I didn't feel cheated at all. It's hard to believe you're still doing this. I, but 25 years of killing people for a living, that's enough. So can I uh, ask you a couple things? Well, I'm stone broke. Oh, no, yeah. No, it's all right. They don't give you very much when you get out of there. It cost me a little piece to get here. I managed to inherit this shirt from an inmate who was a little bit too heavy set to outrun his pursuers. You know that place on the edge of town that my pa had? I know it wasn't much to look at, but do you think it's still there? Well, I it is. And... It taken over and sold? No, no. It's nothing more than a bag of rusty old nails. It's been left to rot for 20 years. Think anyone would mind if I headed that way? I don't see why. The powers that be are still the powers that be. However, the Reverend has a new church. Really? Still trying to save all those bad eggs? That she is. People come, people go, and some people go and come back again. Like Sophia. Sophia? The girl from the telegraph office? Aye, she grew up just like you. What happened to her? <sighs> Near as I can tell, about five years after you left, she got married, a soldier, a cavalry feller. And they had a daughter, and, but he was killed in the Indian Wars. Well, she came back here, and after her father retired, she took over running the telegraph office. Think she wouldn't mind if I pay her a visit? I think that would be fine. Where are you holding up, lad? Well, I figured I'd go home. Hell, I wouldn't let a rat stay in that place. Gets cold here at night. You got a coat in that sack. I think after the last 20 years, I'll be all right. Well, suit yourself then. Michael. Hmm. What the hell happened here? A lot happened when you were gone, my friend. It became a boom town. What kind of boom? Cattle drive. Used to move them right through town, right there. Brought in more people, more businesses, more money. Like the bank over there. Looks like the boom turned bust. I, I've seen it happen before. 
for about 10 years, things were pretty good here. Then from the cattle drives came the railroad. But the railroad decided that Monument wasn't worth their while, so they didn't put any stops around here. Well, the people got word of it, and one night the banker vanished with a lot of money, a lot of the townspeople's money. Hmm. I guess it's better I wasn't around for that. Aye. Good to see you, Michael. You too, lad. And may the rest of your years be better than the last. I know, I can't believe how much she's grown the last couple of years. Mama, please. You know, I can still remember you riding up on your horse with that message from the governor. My future in your hand. I never rode so fast in my life. And now Marie is doing exactly what you were doing when I left. Yes. As the French say, c'est la vie. You speak French? I know one phrase in French, and you just heard it. So, Michael tells me that the powers that be are... Are still in power. Yes, they are. Judge Parker, well, I think maybe he's eased up just a little bit. He doesn't hang quite as many as he used to. Maybe the ghosts are getting to him. What about Jericho Gordon? Jericho. If anything, he's worse. When Ranchin hit hard times a few years back, he reorganized that band of outlaws his brother started a long time ago. He calls them the Mask, just like Jesse did. That's spelled M-A-S-Q-U-E, not M-A-S-K. Is that French? I don't know. Like I said, I only know one phrase in French. What kind of mischief they into? Worse than mischief. Robbing coaches, trains, banks, whatever they feel like. Never hear a monument, though. Otherwise, Judge Parker might do something about it. They're bad people. Somebody should stop them. You're right, Maria. Seems like things around here haven't changed. Well, here we go. That machine dictates my life. Maria, why don't you try this one? All right. Sophia, can I ask you something? Yes. Do you mind if I came back around and talked to you when you have time, of course? Of course I wouldn't mind. Afternoons about this time are usually best. So, talk to me about this painting. Oh, I got that in Mexico. It's about 75 years old. What do you think about it? I think it's a nice addition to these walls. Lord, hear my soul, forgive my sin now. Telling the truth. I stood accused, I was sentenced to die by my angel. She was by my side, I was spared my life, but lost it still. Cheat the hangman, his soul is way too heavy. Cheat the hangman, the burdens that he carries. Cheat the hangman. He's just an ordinary kind of man Passing through this world of sin There's talk going around about trouble downtown. What's this about? Well, if I go downtown, old man Brunson's gonna challenge me to a duel. Well, why? 
Brunson blames the Hawk for the death of his son, Joshua. Why would he blame you? On account I recruited his son. I take it that's the man we lost on the bank run. That's right. Well, hell, you didn't shoot him. That don't seem to matter much. Brunson's hot for revenge. Well, Brunson knows not to stand up to us. He's always had a bad temper, as far back as I can remember. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Eloy! Eloy, are you here, lad? Yeah, I'm here. I brought you something. Hmm. It's one of the old ones. Don't worry, I've got others. That'll keep the weather off you. Smells like horse shit. Yeah, it does need a wee bit of a cleaning. Thanks, I'll, I'll pay you when I can. You'll do no such thing. I'll be asking around town to see if I can find you a job. And if you ever need to, you can always borrow old Maxie here. Why are you helping me? Prison teaches you not to trust people now, doesn't it, lad? Yes, it does. Eloy, you had a lot taken from you. More than anyone can ever give you back. And in my heart, I never felt you as guilty. Oh, I've done a lot of things in my life. Things I'm not proud of. I figured maybe some small way I could set them right. This is one of them. You planning something? Oi, we've got plans. What you want, old man? I hold you personally responsible for the death of my boy. He wasn't a boy. He was a man. And he rode with us on his own free will. After you filled his head with nonsense about fast and easy money, that's bullshit. He didn't know anything about the ways of the world. The only thing he knew about was this little town of cutting lumber. And you had no right, no right to make him a thief. You better stand down, Brunson. And you best go to hell. I hope we all <laughs> learned a lesson here today. Afternoon, gentlemen. You want to talk to me before the meeting? So we're not here to cause you any trouble. I hope not. Thing is, we've always been loyal to you. Our fathers were loyal to you. Yeah, and they both were good men. So, we were wondering, why aren't we next in line? Next in line for what? Well, it seems lately, Wade's been doing all the planning around here. He ain't from around here, y'all know that. We don't know where he's from. Wherever it is, he's got connections I ain't got. So what if this deal of his doesn't work out? I guess we'll see what you two can put together then. Well, my wife's going to town with some friends. Is everything set for tomorrow? I think we're all set. What you think, Strutters? Look. I'm not trying to put a lid on all this excitement. After all, I helped find this information. But why do we have to strike at the stage stop when all this money is going to be under the heaviest security? Well, Wade put this deal together. All right, I'm just saying, it might be a hell of a lot less risky if we hit the money wagon on the way in or on the way out. I got to agree with that. Less chance of innocent people getting hurt. Christ. What are we here? We're robbing the damn place. Someone gets in the way, they're rubbed out. Wade tells us the way it is. 
However, why do we have to wear these damn things? I just about choked out on the last job. Well, this goes back to when my brother ran this outfit. Yeah, well, that's sweet and reminiscent and all. But what's the real point of this mask? Well, if the marshal happens to be there and we're seen, we're in trouble. Shit. That marshal's got to cover half this damn state. Wade's right. That's a needle in a haystack. Well, all right. Whoever don't want to wear the mask, don't wear the damn mask. So, how much money are we talking about here? $200,000. Brand spanking new bills from the U.S. Mint. There's no bought in this stage station. So we play this right, we'll all be set for years to come. Pickup should have done been here by now. Daybreak. Our orders are to stay here regardless. We'll keep it safe. You ever lost one of these? One. Not as much money, but we lost two men. Who is security on the load you lost? Private firm. Well, there you go. Nobody wants to go up against the army. You hear something? I don't hear anything. I hear it. Horses. I feel it. the money. Everybody back at the house? Yep. You know, Wade, this is, uh, this is gonna set us all up for a good while. Mm-hmm. We gotta think about the future. What do you mean by that? I mean, who's gonna run this operation once Jericho's gone? Gone? Where in the hell's he going? Look, I respect the man, all the boys, are loyal to him. Problem is, he does a lot of living in the past. Yeah, well, we do got to think about our future. Yes, we do. What can I do for you? Looking for Jericho Boardman. What do you want with Jericho? I just want to talk. Friends from a while back. Show me you got no guns. What do you call yourself? Eli. Eli Harold. You've been gone a while. Wait here.
I heard you got out. A couple days ago. You here to cause trouble? No, I'm not. Come on in. Where'd you get that jacket? Smells like horse shit. Uh, ain't got around to clean it yet. Kinda got it second hand. We're not in the best of mood around here. We lost one of our boys yesterday. Oh yeah? Found him out on the range, shot through. What are you doing showing up on my front door? I just wanted you to know that you don't have to worry about any trouble from me. I ain't danger to no one. You mean to tell me you don't hold a grudge after 20 years in prison? I do not. Well, hell, that sure don't make you much of a man, does it? I don't see how that's possible. You ever been to prison? Well, no. I seem to have avoided such things. After a while in there, you either stop being mad or you go crazy. All you can do is think about one day getting out. I ain't never gonna do anything that's gonna put me back in that place. Well, that's good to hear. Now, here's my advice to you. Get the hell out of town. There's nothing here for you. That's what I'm planning as soon as I get my affairs in order. Well, if you would excuse us, we have a funeral to plan. You better be careful out there if you're traveling alone. Of all of the towns in the whole world, he comes back here after prison. This situation's gonna need taken care of. What would you suggest, Rutters? I suggest you open that damn door and shoot him in the back before he gets too far away. I give him to the morrow to get gone. Otherwise, we take action. Like he told us many times, bad blood don't just go away. Where's the other fellas? Out trying to recruit more men. He'll report to you when he gets back. Make sure they do. Are you sure you want to hold a party at the church? Why not? We're celebrating our new building and the growth of our congregation. As the Psalms say, let us turn mourning into dancing. If there is no joy in the church, people will turn to wickedness. We shall have music and the ladies are making cookies. Bring your daughter. Saturday night should be a time for families to rejoice. I believe we have some cause for rejoice. Look who's here. Eli, welcome back. Where else could I go? Monument is still your home. and You'll need a job. I'll ask around and see who's hiring. Thank you, Reverend. What about Jericho? I went and talked to him. I think we buried the hatchet. Well done. We are having a gathering at the church this Saturday night. Please come. I uh, don't think I have anything to wear. That doesn't matter. Some people will dress up and some will be in their work clothes. Our church is a place for all. I invited everyone, including Jericho and his boys, as well as our illustrious hangman. Now he says that people don't want to be around him because of his occupation. I do hope he'll change his mind. I don't imagine your celebration has any room for liquor. Not within the church walls, of course. You know I'm not a strict pastor, but we must maintain some decorum. I'll talk to him. Why do you drink so much, Michael? I'll tell you, lad. There's a couple of reasons. First, there's the war. I got sick in it. Not sick like typhus or cholera, but sick up here and sick in here. I can't look at a gun, let alone touch one anymore. 
and the drinking helps keep the ghosts away at night. The other is me job. I'll tell you, blood. This job will be the death of you. But you see, when I hang a man who I know is guilty, as guilty as old scratch, when I see him dangling there, I drink because I've earned it and I enjoy it. But when I hang a man who I'm not sure of, whose only crime might be he was born with the wrong color skin or was in the wrong place at the wrong time, well, then I drink twice as much. Because then I need it. So I guess you heard about the dance at the church on Saturday. No, did the Reverend talk you into coming around here and to bring me to that thing? Eh, she may have mentioned it. I figured you could use a change. I ain't going anywhere. Me best friend isn't allowed. She said not inside the church, so you leave it outside. Mm, sneak off once in a while. People in this town need to get to know you better. Who in their bloody right mind would want to get to know a hangman? I know the hangman. Not such a bad fella. Well, let's see now. An ex-convict, the hangman. I know. Let's invite the undertaker. Oh, and while we're at it, let's invite the town drunk. Oh, pardon me. I forgot. I am the town drunk. Why do you like being alone? What makes you ask me all these bloody stupid questions? It's the way it's always been. We came here after the war. Texas was part of the Confederacy, and me being from Ohio, well, I fought for the Union. That's the way it was in prison, too. Plenty of gangs. Almost all was broke up by whether you're from the North or the South. Pretty much had to join one to survive. I was a 13-year-old kid who killed the man who killed his father, so they pretty much left me alone. So tell me, what other reason do you have for inviting me to the soiree? Ladies! That's the only reason I need to know to make it worth my time. I'm too bleeding old for that. Wait. Still breathing? Whoa, you're still breathing. Michael, you're never too old. Says the young feller with half his life still ahead of him. So you're going to be there Saturday? Ah, uh, very well, I suppose. Town, fellas. Well, Reverend's got a goings on down there at the church. What do you mean, a goings on? A dance. A dance? And none of y'all was invited? We ain't going to no church. Eli's going around inviting outcast, but the hangman. Hmm. What are you thinking, Moss? I think it's a good time to call on the mask. Looks like we're going to church after all. I see what Eli's doing. He's putting together a group of people that thinks just like him. Soon he'd be thinking about running for sheriff or maybe taking over for the judge. <laughs> that arm still hurt from when he shot you 20 years ago? Believe it or not, I feel it once in a while. What do you want done? Be a perfect time to take care of Eli. Plus some of those other low lives that I don't care for. And that meddling preacher woman, always sticking her nose in our business. We'll be making this town a lot better place. Clean the slate. Get rid of the bad blood. Sophia, Maria, nice to see you dressed up. Well, tonight just seems special. Oh, Maria, we're over here. Eli, we've missed you. It's good to be home. Come on in, you'll see some familiar faces. The ladies have made cookies and lemonade. Hey, 
Eli. You're a sight for sore eyes. Cliff, you remember me? How could I forget? Remember that Sunday we went fishing? Didn't catch any fish. Caught a lot of frogs, though. Put them in the old schoolhouse. Remember Miss Winter shrieking like a banshee? How did she find out it was us? You two were the biggest troublemakers, but you were the smartest boys I ever taught. Miss Winters, you still teaching? As long as their children need learning. Did Cliff tell you he now owns the general store? Congratulations. Thank you. If you need any assistance, Eli, let me know. I really would like to help. Your father was a good man. Thank you. Eli Harold. Welcome back. I'd like to introduce you to my daughter. Good evening. Excuse me, ladies. I'm not used to large crowds. <laughs> the matrons have sensed an eligible bachelor. Maybe not that eligible. I suppose it's my duty to protect you from the daughters. I could use your help. <laughs> Will you clean up nice, Mr. Harold? I think this is the cleanest I've been in 20 years. Well, what did you do in all that time? Did a lot of thinking. About my pa. About that day. About what I would have changed, if I would have changed anything. That's a lot of thinking, Eli. Well, since I was so young, the prison sent the local school marm to teach me. She would bring books, and I'd read them. Really? Like what? Math. Writing. How to read properly. You know, the basics. So you can read good. <sighs> no, ma'am. I know how to read well. <laughs> she was a spiritual woman. When she could, she took the time to teach me about the Lord. Mostly learned about forgiveness. I forgave Jericho a long time ago. The past is the past. That's where I want to leave it. Yeah. What are you all looking at? You all know who I am. You all know what I do. Hangman, hangman, get to innocence. Hangman, hangman, never let to us. Amen, amen, get you in this Amen. There's great in the Undertaker. Amen, amen. He takes care of what I leave behind. Y'all believe in the great beyond. Well, I'm the one who sends him there. O'Reilly, I take pride in my funerals. All of your leavings end up in Potter's Field. Dead is dead, Grady. It don't matter where you put him after that. Gentlemen, this is a celebration. Tonight is a time to dance. And this is Lady's Choice. And I never knew an Irishman who couldn't dance. Sunshine shining down on me. It feels so good to have my soul set free. Like the rain in the spring on a cotton Sunshine shining down on me Yeah, la la, oh yeah Sunshine, you light on the morning dove Listen to his cry outside your window Wonder what he places his wishes on You know there's gonna be a harvest sometime Like a sweet morning Walking by the riverside, yeah, la la. Mm -hmm. So what you reap and reap what you sow. The journey I was lost and now I'm found. Try to do the right, lead others there too. Gonna save a soul.
The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. Sophia all right? Eli. We'll tend to her later. The ladies need help with the wounded. You know how to tie a bandage? I'll show you. How many did we lose? How many did we lose? One dead. Who's hurt? I'm hurt. Did any of y'all put a bullet in Eli? I didn't even see him. Damn that bitch of a preacher woman. We need to show that woman what real fear is. I will, if it's the last thing I do. There is a time, a time to be. There is a time, a time to be. Eli, I'm glad you finally there got some sleep. Do you want some food? Uh, no, ma'am. She all right? That poor child is scared to death. I had to give her some laudanum to help her sleep. You have any coffee? There's some in the sanctuary. I think she's starting to wake up. Hi, Maria. Where am I? You're at the church. A time to forgive. There is a time. Eli. You were a great help last night. Have some coffee. Uh, how many dead? Seven. Two were children. Grady has the bodies. We got all the wounded out. Never knew you could shoot. Never thought I'd have to. Not again. Again? I once told Jericho I wasn't always a minister. What were you? Didn't you come from New York City? I did. My mother ran a sporting house in Five Points amidst the gangs of New York. We learned how to protect ourselves. She refused to pay the constable. In short, we were raided. There was a scandal, and I was adopted by one of the reform ladies. She was a suffragette who made sure I had an education and encouraged me in my call to the ministry. As our Lord said, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Will you be able to forgive me? What have you done? It's what I'm planning. I need a good gun cleaning kit. Seeing you handle those six shooters, I figured you might have one around. I do. What are you planning? If I tell you, you'd probably try and talk me out of it. Our Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. But now, I truly believe that he has become angry. You do what you need to do. I need to talk to Judge Parker. A time to be
been a long time since I talked with you, Pa. I used to talk with you every night when I first got to prison. Thought maybe you'd protect me. I don't know. Maybe I was right. Just, well... Don't think too bad of me on account of what I'm about to do. I know it ain't what you would have done. I ain't pretending this doesn't go all the way back to what happened to you. You know it does. Everyone knows. for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table for me in the midst of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup overfloweth. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This man is in the hands of the Almighty now. May God have mercy on his soul. Mr. Boardman, do you have any words that you would like to say about the man that we are burying here today? These men hadn't been with me all that long. We see that the families are notified of what happened, and we'll make sure that the families are taken care of. Okay, you want to make a run for the house? Hell no, too far. How about the woods to the right? I think he's heading out. Go!
get him? No, I don't think so. We better split up. Eli. Ma'am? You should have seen that preacher hightail it out of here. That was quite a sight. I'm guessing Jericho's inside. Eli, your best bet is to follow that preacher fella. Just walk away. Just keep on walking. It's too late for that. In that case, I'll take leave of the situation and walk away myself. What the hell are you doing with her? <coughs> she ain't got nothing to do with this. Mr. Remington and I persuaded her to come with us. I think it's time to go see the judge. 
with my pistol on your friend's head the whole way. Jericho, what in tarnation do you think you're doing? Eli, who cheated the hangman all those years ago? I heard you'd gotten out. I heard you were coming back. Damn, son, you look a mess. Harlem, I got this girl here to protect myself. Me and my men were burying two of our own. And Eli here showed up. He shot everyone down at the funeral. Jericho, all you men are dead, aren't they? Well, yes, sir. But it was him. I didn't do nothing. Now move your piece away from her and holster it. The clock goes forward. Time marches on, as they say. More and more people are moving into this area, and with that, there's a whole lot of changes. Now, I had a good meeting this morning with the Reverend. It's long overdue. Reverend? Well, she and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. Maybe we don't see eye to eye on most things. But we do see eye to eye on this. We both agree. Jericho, it's time for you to leave. It's time for you to move on. Maria, sweetheart, you don't need to be afraid. Move on over there towards the Reverend. Jericho, I could put you on trial and we could do everything legal and proper. But you know, I've gotten too old and too lazy for all that. So that's the way it's going to be. You got 24 hours to leave town. Your estate is going to be liquidated by this institution. Once all that's finished, half the proceeds will be forwarded to you. Half? Wait a minute. Once that's finished, half the proceeds will be forwarded to you. Less court costs, administrative fees, and commissions, of course. The other half will be used to make reparations to the families of those you killed. This is thievery! <laughs> thievery. Thievery. I almost take offense at that. It makes me think of another word. Contempt. Unless you gonna arrest me, I'm leaving. That sounds like a good idea. Might as well start packing. You got less than 24 hours now. Eli, your daddy did a lot of good work for me when he was sheriff all those years ago. He believed in law and order. He was a just man and a good man. You know that, don't you? Yes, sir. This town is going to need a sheriff. You want the job? What's it pay? Shoot a monkey in the toe. Fresh out of prison and already asking about the pay. Uh, we got ourselves a businessman here. I like that. Pay is $75 a month to start with. <laughs> Don't think about this too long. I'm not going to offer again. On condition you keep O'Reilly on his hangman. That's a good one. He's a good man. You pay him better. It's a deal. You have endured well, Maria, and the Lord has protected you. I must make the arrangements now for your mother and the other victims, so I'll take you back to Mrs. Bennett's. Reverend? Yes? Mama showed me how to work the telegraph machine. 
and you'll need someone to run that office, and I'm the only one in town who can do it. The Lord has commanded us to be strong and courageous. You may go back to the telegraph office for a few hours. I'll stop by to pick you up before dark. Try to clean up best I could, Reverend. I may need a stitching up if you don't mind. All right then, come on back to the church. Guess it's time to eat supper, ain't it? That reminds me. Miss Lily said to come by and see her. Well, we should. You want to go? Well, let's go see if Miss Lily's cooking. Come on, let's will you? Let's go do that. Never done so many funerals in one day. You sure you still want to be sheriff here? <laughs> Reverend, why is there a rope on the gallows? I don't know. You can reach for that beast, boy. Try. Couldn't imagine this would be over, Reverend. Eli, nice and easy. Get your hands up. Marissa, I want you to slowly put one hand down and take that pistol from his holster. She okay? I'm fine. She'll need patching up. Well, for once, I cheated the hangman! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Jericho. Ain't from the River Jordan. He ain't from Mexico. We don't know where he come from, we know he's full of bad blood. Hey, 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 that hangman noose is hanging loose, don't know what to say. It's what I know and what I see, can't make myself believe. Hey, 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 hey. Cards we deal on the devil's will Someday make the so More than we will care to give Sometimes that river flows Hey, hey, hey Hey, Jericho Ain't from the River Jordan He ain't from Mexico We don't know where he come from We know he's full of bad blood Hey, hey, hey Hey, hey Ain't nobody talking about the debts we have to pay A little bit of this and a little bit of that will go a long, long way Hey, hey, hey Won't you punch me now, my dear, and make sure I'm awake Never thought I'd see the day my troubles go away Hey, hey, hey Hey, Jericho Look there out your window every night and say your prayer. Pray your soul's salvation into 
trust in him and obey. Hey, 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 Jericho, leader of an outlaw gang, living on the edge, meaner than a viper snake, striking its prey. Hey, 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 a little bit of this and a little bit. Those of us who live to die and those of us who die to live, whatever the choice, we live it alone. The good Lord said he'll come again, just lay our burdens and heartaches down, be humble, be kind of one another. Cheat the hangman. His soul is way too heavy, cheat the hangman. All the burdens that he carries, cheat the hangman. His soul would have no rainbow if he never shed a tear.